Hello, uh, I'm Václav. And I'm Pear. And uh, we have a very special thing to show you today, and it's this box uh, called Distortotron. And Per, you know what it is? It is an effect processor, um, bit reducer, down sampler, made in Norway back in 1993. And it's a 100% analog circuit. Uh, I worked with a lot of uh, early samplers in the late 80s. And when we entered the 90s, I got myself my first 16-bit sampler. And it reproduced everything so well that I started missing all the artifacts, aliasing, noise. Uh, and I wanted to have a machine that brought back all the nice stuff. I met two young uh, students, technology students, after I played at the rave party at their university. Uh, called Sven Berge and Henrik Sundt. Uh, and we immediately started talking about uh, sound and technology and new ways to, to, to alter sound. And uh, they designed this whole box after a few more uh, conversations. And uh, it suddenly appeared in my mailbox. Oh wow, so, so you, all of a sudden you had that machine and did it meet your expectations? Well, it brought back all the noises, the aliasing, but it did a lot more than that. Mm -hmm. It had a kind of life of its own. So it's a very, very ex exciting and, and very inspiring thing to suddenly have. And I featured it endlessly on my debut album. It was called Plugged. I released it uh, a year after or something. So I'm starting with a clean setting and introducing some of the downsampling. And this is the sound I used for the piano riff on the first album. After using it for simpler voices, I started running more and more stuff through the machine um, and added a lot of drum loops through it. And when you played around with Quante Sprang and Ditto Stay, you could add a lot of extra noise to, uh, to, to anything basically. And combined with the Tasterate, changing that, you could really get some lovely noisy jams going. Also there's a clipping circuit uh, in the box and by narrowing the threshold you could actually start getting into really heavily distorted areas with anything you run through it. Hey Atil, hey Atil, the Atil from the best student tweel. Hey Atil, hey Atil, hey Atil. <laughs> so the thing also has a life of its own. You could plug basically anything into it and it will start making sounds. Uh, it has a great kind of in, inner life to it and uh, you can unplug it and it keeps on going and self-oscillating and it's a really fun little box. So about half a year ago uh, I gave the Distortotron to Václav here and he loved it so much that uh, he made a new module uh, inspired by this architecture, which he has called Tromsø. 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 That's right. So, uh, what I really liked about this circuit is that the people try to emulate the imperfections and oddities of the early digital circuits and made that in analog circuit. And maybe you're familiar with the term virtual analog, which basically takes the analog circuits and emulates them with computers. But this is the exact opposite and it sounds absolutely wonderful. <laughs> 